Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day and welcome back to another Halo video. This time we will be revisiting Halo Reach, the 360 version, in 2021. So we're going to do the same thing we did with Halo 3. We're going to, you know, check out all the cool campaign UI things, the backgrounds, the backdrops. This one actually seems to have more of a static background, but um, you can see that the ship on my right is actually floating or is moving. But regardless, I think it's just cool how... When you go to every single mode, um, you know, the backdrop changes and stuff. So let's kind of just look at those because I just I just love the art, man. I, I think it's so awesome just seeing this kind of stuff for games. So let's start with campaign. Okay, so campaign stays the same. That's very weird. I did not know that. I thought it would change. What about matchmaking? Okay, so matchmaking does change. So for matchmaking, they change it to the globe. Kind of a similar style to Halo 3's, except this time it's reaches. Or rather, it's reach the planet. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out the firefight. Oh, verifying. They seem to have this verifying kind of stuff. It's weird. So I got the same message. Bad name. The name for this game variant cannot be displayed online. It will, it will be replaced with Blam when playing on Xbox Live. I don't... What? What? What is so bad? I don't... I'm so confused. I keep getting this weird bad name. I don't know. Maybe it's a glitch. I have no idea. Let's go to custom game. So for custom game, we get this iconic background, which I think is kind of like the the uh, the main reach backdrop, the one everyone remembers, where it's an elite, you know, holding that sword and grabbing a Spartan by the throat. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of the the main backdrop that people you know recognize. Let's check out Forge, and for Forge, you just get basically Forge World, which looks like concept concept art for Forge World, probably. So that's pretty cool. Instead of the monitor and the uh, Warthog that you get in Halo 3, you kind of just get Forge World, which is really cool. For theater, you actually get essentially a Reach home. So it's like if you're on planet Reach and you're in your house watching films, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's what they show like a house. So that's kind of what I get off of that. Let's go ahead and actually check the population numbers, which is the number one thing I like doing. So let's go ahead and start out with standard. So we're going to start out with Team Slayer. Team Slayer has 208 current players. Team SWAT has 25 players. Team Snipers has 0 players. Living Dead has 2 players. Evasion, which has 3 players. So now let's move on to the next playlist, which is Evolved, which contains all the DLC maps, I think, or the old like DLC remake maps of the CE maps or something like that. I don't know. So we got Super Slayer, which is 0 players. I feel like all of these are going to have 0 players, to be honest. Team Objective has zero players. Rumble Pit has nine players. Double Team has zero players. Big Team Battle, surprisingly, has zero players as well. Multi Team has zero players. The Arena has zero players. Wow. Okay, so I did get it twisted, and the Evolved playlist was actually not the DLC maps. The Anniversary one. This Anniversary playlist is the is the uh, the DLC maps and stuff. So we got Anniversary Classic, which actually has more players than the Evolved playlist. That's crazy. And this uh, this right here is a DLC. I mean, I think all DLCs are free now. Um, so yeah, it has 12 current players. And Anniversary Firefight has zero players. Let's go ahead and go to Community, which is MLG. Yeah, of course, it's going to be dead. So it's kind of like the ranked stuff. Griff Ball, 46 players. Cooperative. Let's see. Co-op Campaign, zero score attack four players and firefight 23 players all right so i found a game and man dude look at this menu dude you get to choose your map you get to see people's armor and everything it's so cool man i hope we get this kind of stuff back in infinite because i don't know man halo 5 like all they had was emblems it's so sad how they got rid of this system and you could just tell like halo 5 man that game was just i don't know what happened like either it was just like so rushed or it just, it just like, they just didn't care. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't that. I mean, it, I would say it's pretty obvious it wasn't that. But it just like, it's, there was like a lot of like, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess it was just like super rushed and time wasn't spent well or something. And that's why Halo 5 kind of just, you know, flopped. You know, sure, you could not be a fan of like the core mechanics and stuff. Um, you know, thruster and all that, but I think the game had potential, even if it wasn't the super classic style of Halo, I think it definitely had potential if it actually launched with the actual, you know, actual content and not just like a broken mess it was. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see if there's a lot of input delay. <laughs> I mean, of course, the frames and everything's going to be lowered, but... Um, okay, uh, there's a tiny bit. It's not as bad as Halo 3's, I will say that, but it's still... I can still feel some delay. Um, but um, other than... Um, other than that, it feels pretty good. Yeah, it feels a lot better than Halo 3, I will say that. Although that's kind of expected, because this game is more modern than, um, than Halo 3. Oh, wow, that was a... That was... <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that was just awful. Dude, someone's using camouflage. Oh my goodness. Oh my... Oh, now he's giving me the great bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get some concussion rifle. Or concussion... Yeah, concussion rifle. Let's get some of that. See how this kind of plays out. Where are they at? Oh, let's get a needle rifle. Yeah, I love the needle rifle. I think it's so cool. I mean, it's kind of like... It's like kind of simple, but I like it. Like, it's really just a needler in a rifle form. Which is kind of like... If you think about it, it kind of just sounds very simple, which I guess it is. But, um, I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> it's just cool. Okay, I'm gonna be... Okay, I'm gonna be annoying, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the jetpack. This guy's using the freaking visibility. Is that the guy with the shawl? It is, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, shoot, how do I fly? Uh-oh. Oh, that's how I fly. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Maybe I should pull out a different gun. Oh uh, yeah, I probably should have pulled out the DMR there. Go ahead and Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh god, this guy's coming over here. Uh oh. I'm getting out of there. Let me see if the sniper's down here. Kill this guy. There we go, help him out. Where's the sniper spawn? Doesn't it spawn here? Or is that only for like hardcore settings? I don't even know. Oh man, it feels so weird though. There is like a delay, but it's not as bad as um it's not as bad as um Halo 3's. I just noticed we're actually losing like a ton. <laughs> we're actually losing by a lot and I had no idea. Um and these guys are just staring into each other's eyes, gazing upon. Ooh, so now we got the like the post credits kind of thing. You know, you get to see all your credits earn, your XP barely moved an inch. <laughs> Does a sweet little pose. Pretty cool. You get to see your stats. Well, you guys, with that being said, that's Halo Reach for you um, in 2021. Can't wait to compare it to uh, December. We're also going to be checking, you know, this one out in December as well. When, you know, the services are going to go offline for it. It's going to be cool to kind of compare it, see how populated it is and stuff. See how populated it got and stuff like that. Really cool. But yeah, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, consider subscribing, liking the video. shows your support, and it really helps me out. See you guys on the next one. Peace.